Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. Let's start off first with the Glamour Crystal Box, as always. Check it out, link down there in the description box, it's a holiday treat. Here you go, you get a box, everybody gets a box. Well, you have to check it out, it's in the description box, okay. We're gonna go right away for the Pisces, okay. Now, did you guys tell every, anybody about I draw 20 cards the previous day? Because it has to be in the hush-hush, okay. Or else you get one card only today. <laughs> you did get 20 the other day, so you're gonna get one card, all right? So let's see what's going on with the Pisces. Do you guys like it when I'm playful? Mm -hmm. Here we go. How, how come you guys like it when I'm playful, but when your soulmate is playful, you guys don't like it? <laughs> burn, really, so burn so early. Sit down. Let's focus on this uh, person that you're dealing with. Okay, let me see here. Someone's gonna call you while they're driving. Okay, so they're driving. And you're gonna be on speaker. Okay, or you're doing this. Mm -hmm. Just um, picking up somewhere. Okay. Now, be careful, Pisces. Okay, I'm just saying this is just a warning. If you have sent any kind of picture or videos, <laughs> I'm saying it here. <laughs> Be careful. At least put a watermark so it looks professional. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just saying, watermark it. <laughs> That's what I would do. At least it was, uh, how do you call it? Boudoir. Okay. <laughs> this is a, this is what they call it, right? Uh. Here we go. You guys are hilarious. There you go. Now the bros, you can't watermark it because you just sent an eggplant. You guys are ridiculous. I don't understand it. Okay, it's like what's gonna watermark? <laughs> the bros. <laughs> Here we go. Unsolicited. Page of cups. Okay. Attending a party, are we? A social gathering, an event. Mm hmm. It's a gathering. Meeting of the minds with a page of cups. You could be in. A, like a school function, or office function, but there's gonna be a function of something here. Because um, you're coming in and you're just like sipping your tea, your coffee, you know. It can also be like a brunch, a meetup, a networking event over here. Uh, some sort of, uh, a, a meetup of similar minds is what I'm sensing here with the Page of Cups. I think this is you, okay. You're coming up as someone who's just like um, very heart chakra open-ish. Yeah, like you're totally open here with your heart chakra. Okay. So you're really looking for a person to love, okay. Mm-hmm. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm in New York. I love New York. I can just do that. Okay. <laughs> nobody cares in New York. Here we go. It's your cups. Nine of cups. See, there's that social event. Someone is throwing a part. Hey, you're attending it. You're meeting this person. Okay. Can be a bartender. I mean, hello, nine of cups. Mm -hmm. We know what happens dealing with a bartender. They do it for tips. Okay. <laughs> They're doing it for tips. All right. So be careful. All right. So there's a, if you're a bartender, I didn't, you know, so just saying, okay. Don't throw at me, okay. Because someone here is just like, oh, hello, what's your name? Nine of Cups. I'm your Nine of Cups and your wish granted. Very flirty. If your heart chakra is open, this person is also willing and um, willing to give love, Nine of Cups. Um, they're, you know, it's like normally Nine of Cups is um, someone who's joy to talk to. Not boring, you know, it's like the topic is very fluid. They can talk anything under the sun and the stars, okay? Because they're, I feel like this person has been around the world and they have different stories, you know, Nine of Cups. It's like they got story for different country. So you know what that means. Mm -hmm. Story for different countries. You tell me, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. You have stories to tell, to share. And you're listening to this person. Very charming. Ooh! Uh -huh. Be careful as a Knight of Wands. Yeah? Nine of Cups with a Knight of Wands. So this person do enjoy okay, being flirtatious, going around, making sure everybody's taken care of. If it's a Sag, then this person likes to talk a lot and 
the way that they talk, it's just like, wow. It's just like this person is dropping some wisdoms left and right. But you're not going to be like totally wow because you're Jupiterian too. For you, it's just like, all right. I got you. We kind of click over here with a page of cups. So you're like, mm hmm, okay. I'm feeling something here. Knight of Cups. So you feel like, okay, this person is flirting with you. I feel like this person wants to take you, um, you know, where? Mm hmm, you know, already. Because the Knight of Wands does invite. Um, it's getting late. Uh, do you want to have some coffee in my place? 3 a.m. coffee. What, what is this? Okay, what is this? Okay, what is this line that this guy is using? Okay, getting late at 3 a.m. You want to grab coffee okay. <laughs> at his place. You know when you when you accept that invite, there is no coffee at 3 a.m. Okay, there is no coffee. Ten of Cups. Oh, wow, you did spend long nights with this person. Really? A guy or a girl who really went? To communicate like you literally probably went to this person or you guys had a long conversation and it was about life they didn't went after you know wherever whatever that the night is looking for interesting mm -hmm. i feel like both of you have shared um a heart-to-heart -heart conversation like things under the sun i prejudge this person i'm sorry <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Because they were sweet and charming. Normally sweet and charming. I don't trust them. <laughs> sweet and charming is a red flag for me. Okay. I'd rather see them as wasted and messed up. It's like, at least I see you. <laughs> so this is that kind. Ooh, ten of swords. So they even talk about their exes. Red flag. <laughs> red flag right here. So ten of swords with a ten of cups. So heart to heart conversation. They start opening up to you. If it's not about the ex, it's about how life was. It's like, yeah, you know, I have some problems with my life. So you know how it is. And so it's like, okay, is this gonna become a friend zone? Because why is the conversation about difficult things in life? But again, the sincerity of the person is really to open up. That's good though. I feel it happened, you know, a few drinks, they kind of get a little loose with their words, and then they open up. You know, I'm tired with life, this isn't that. Okay. They say what drunk words are honest thoughts, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. At least it's not loosey goosey. Okay. <laughs> That's another one. Okay. Here we go. Get a seven of wands. Okay. So this person it may appear that it's like, oh, they're opening up to me. They have certain blockages. They don't just that was that time. Okay. So you will you will feel like, oh, okay, well, like few times that you guys have met or whatever, it's just like they were open. And why did they change? Because they're not they're not in that mode. Okay. So this person goes in a mode of sharing and then is very serious. Okay. Seven of Wands. You know, it's like you ask them, say, Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, it's like you message this person or it says like, Hey, I'm busy. Like that. And first it's just like, all right, what happened to the connection? Mm -hmm. So it makes you think. Magician. Busy can be, you know, definitely. Um, having a magician over here, um, a person has deep thoughts that they always go to, um, and they need their quiet time. I feel like when they're when they're not responsive to you or talking to you, they're inside their own space and they're trying to manifest their dreams. Mm -hmm. They like this is a, what do you call it? An introvert or extrovert? The one who wants to be always alone with their mind. Okay, so they will shut down on you. Okay, it was shut down here. But it's not, it has nothing to do with you. It has something to do with, with their work, with the things that they are so involved right now. The tower. Ooh, yeah. So the person is going through some sort of cycle in their own life. It doesn't concern you. So if this person all of a sudden resists the connection right now, it's because they're having this moment. Okay? We don't know yet what's a tower moment, but they need their privacy here. Um, it can be anything. It can be their business, their life, their career, um, their spirituality is being tested. Um, it can be anything because the tower is about their belief before it's now being tested. Okay. Or they might be a student and they're going to have a test. Okay. Because <laughs> if it's a test and someone is saying, it's like, I can't talk right now, I have tests. Okay. <laughs> Magician with a tower. Or someone here is also like trying to put things to work like building a home and they're so focused on that building a business they cannot afford to miss a step okay overall i'm fine 
Well, so it's not your life. What do you mean you're fine? <laughs> it's not my life. I know, but I'm living it for you. Okay. So I'm fine. Okay. So let's see in the extended how you guys keep interacting. Um, I feel like this is just a tip of the iceberg on how on what this person is all about. There's something with them that is so mysterious that you haven't known. And they haven't let anybody in. That seven of ones not dating. I don't understand though. Not dating but flirting. Mm, we'll see. All right. Link down there in the description box for the extended Pisces. Check out the Glamour Crystal box. I didn't draw the 20 cards. So <laughs> Next time you get one card only. I'll see you guys again. Bye.